what's going on? Oh my God, it's so good to be here. This is exciting. Cause like, remember when you were younger, your mom would be like, don't do drugs, don't talk to strangers. And now here I am on drugs, talking to strangers. <laughs> I've learned the goddamn thing in 43 years. Like my dare officer would be so disappointed with me right now if he, uh, if he saw how I turned out. Remember that shit, the dare program? What a joke that was. Nobody followed that shit. It was set up to fail. Like, even the title sounded like a challenge. <laughs> dare to hit this. Double dare me. Life's over. With this nose, I would've made it past 12. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Welcome to Judaism, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Comes with the territory. Nobody's learned their lesson, though. Some of you guys might Uber or Lyft at some point in your life. You know, get in the car with a stranger <laughs> who probably has candy. <laughs> you know, everything we were taught not to do as kids, now we pay to do that shit every day. <laughs> There's an app you can just download, just have the kidnappers come right to your house. <laughs> you can bring your own puppy. It's crazy. Technology's getting too advanced. It's amazing. Like, we're all, we love our phones, but like, I still kind of miss my beeper. <laughs> Remember how cool beepers were? Like, some of the people will never know how cool it was to have a beeper, to have a fucking pizza box clipped to your belt all goddamn day. <laughs> how important you felt when that shit went off. You're like, yo, hold up. <laughs> yo, it's my girl, bro. One four three speak secret code. It's really just your mom. You're just trying to act cool in front of your friends. Let me find a payphone. Call this bitch back. She's so clingy, God. Suck on her tits once, right? It was more than once. It was like seven months or something. Oh my God. Now everything's different. Everything is changing now. Women, that's another technological advancement I wasn't ready for. Women are beautiful nowadays. Like, they didn't look like that back in the day. <laughs> Not even close. Everybody just looked like Ben Franklin back in the day. <laughs> like man or woman, it didn't matter. They all had fucking pantsuits and mullets. <laughs> Monocles, you can't bang a chick with a monocle. That's disgusting. <laughs> How does that even work? It gets all foggy on one side. <laughs> ear, ear, ear. <laughs> no, they're so pretty now. Like, they're so hot. Like, there are students having sex with their teachers now. Like, that was never a choice when I was in school. <laughs> that was never on my syllabus growing up. I went to school at the wrong time, man. It's not fair. They're amazing now. Every one of my teachers looked like a fucking Rottweiler, I swear to God. It was a nightmare. Like, you would think I went to school at, like, Petco and shit. None of those bitches were getting adopted. <laughs> it's an adoption joke, don't... Don't shop. It's cruel. No, but remember, remember your teachers? Like, even if they were down, like, you weren't. <laughs> You're like, nah, I'd rather go to summer school. <laughs> Jerk off, I'm all set. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks, Mrs. Selsky. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's my second grade teacher on the wall. I just said her name on a taping, but... Uh, <laughs> She will see this joke. Uh, uh, we're Facebook friends. This is, uh, <laughs> she likes my shit up until now. Oh my God, I don't know why I would do that. That's what happens when you do drugs and talk to strangers. Shit just flies out of your face. All willy-nilly. A sweet woman. She didn't deserve that at all. 
but like in my defense though, she was very unfuckable, so I'm not wrong. <laughs> like I'm not. Like everybody after the show, follow me on Instagram. I'll send you the yearbook photo. <laughs> See if I'm being a dick or not. <laughs> Just saying, that's not a hot name. I don't want to out her. I oh, fuck it. Her name was Rona Selsky. That's not a hot name at all. Like that's not a name you can get behind. Picture that shit later when you guys are going at it. See how long you last. Get in there, fucking, ah, oh, Rona. <laughs> That's my move, I just stick it all the way in and hold, I don't know if anyone's ever done that shit. Oh, it's incredible. Same result, less effort, give it a shot, bro. Fucking... Save some steps for tomorrow, come on. You gotta like commit though, you gotta like tilt the hamstrings, arch the back, get it all in there. But if done right, you could turn five into seven with that move, trust me, <laughs> trust me. Seven and a half, if you like move an ass cheek and get in like a good angle and put... Tiptoe. <laughs> Try it though, oh, it's incredible. I call it the crock pot, in case you're interested. I don't know. Seems appropriate. Right, you just stick it in for like 30 minutes, let that shit marinate. And then the meat slides right off the bone. It's absolutely perfect for sex, or pulled pork, whatever. Maybe both, I get hungry after. A lot of sex talk tonight. I think we need to switch it up a little bit, make it more relatable. Some just might. Uh, so porn is so accessible nowadays, right? <laughs> Take a little bit of a hard right. I got a love-hate relationship with porn now. Like porn, to, it's the, the best it's ever been. Like, it's amazing. You can just whip out your phone, type in anything you want, whatever sick fetish you have comes up. It's remarkable. But like, I also hate it for like the exact same reason. Like it's too easy. And maybe I'm just bitter and old, but like the younger generation, they've had everything like handed to them. So like they don't know about struggle porn and shit like that. Like the shit we have to go through. Like you have no idea. Your struggle porn is like, oh, the Wi-Fi is buffering. What am I gonna do? I gotta just stare at this tit. It wasn't like that for us. We had to like hunt down our dad's VHS tape when he went to work. Remember that? It was like hidden under the floorboards or behind the staircase, like Anne Frank. <laughs> and then when you were done watching it, you had to rewind it back to the spot where he came. <laughs> that struggle porn. You'd have to rewind it back or else your dad would find out and he would beat the shit out of you with the same hand he just jerked off with. And you'll learn your lesson real quick. You ever get slapped in the face and the hand sticks there for a second? Like glue? <laughs> Although I just balled it up, that's weird. That's, <laughs> seems like a weird. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm fucking. It's been a long night for all of us. What's the fucking? I just came out in front of you guys. Who cares? It's a difference. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you guys are laughing at like stupid shit because you don't know what you're allowed to do or say anymore. Like the whole world's gone full bitch. Like it's really sad. Like what happened to? Like you can't do or say anything anymore without getting canceled. They're canceling everything. Fucking Aunt Jemima's out of a job. Like, what happened? <laughs> what is going on? They're canceling everything. Candy. They canceled the green M&M not too long ago because they said she looked like she was too much of a whore. <laughs> this is the world that we're living in now when people give a shit what Candy's wearing. Because if you ever saw the commercial prior to the canceling, she had flesh-colored legs and she wore boots. 
So obviously, she's a whore. There's no other explanation for it. Maybe she's trying to look nice and professional. Nah, she's a whore. They think anyone who wears boots is a whore, evidently. Nice boots, by the way. We got a whore in the front row. We got two whores right next to each other. Any whores in the back? Can we get the camera show all the whores walking out after the show? Like, how stupid does that sound? It's ridiculous. You can't cancel candy. Like, even if she was a whore. Like, so what? Why are we shaming her for that? She's a single, independent woman. She doesn't have any little m and minis running around she's got to worry about. She wants to go out and get butterfingered by the Three Musketeers. Why are we shaming her? Let's not. Turn all the twicks you want, girl. They're just going to keep coming after all the candy, so just get ready, because it gets worse every day. Like, like, with all the gender pronouns going around, pretty soon Hershey's will become them days. You guys ready for that shit? It's like the only candy bar with nuts on one side. You don't know which side to bite. I bit it, now I'm gay. I want to make s'mores. S'more dick? That doesn't help my case from earlier, bro. That doesn't at all. Oh my God. You guys remember the whatchamacallit? Yeah, pretty soon they'll cancel that one because it sounds transphobic. I don't need everybody to laugh at that joke. I know how good it is. You're just afraid to laugh in public and get judged by the person next to you. Or you haven't gotten it yet. But e either way, on the way home, that is going to bust you up, I promise. I don't care what side of the fence you're on. If next time you go to the store and you see a whatchamacallit, you're going to laugh for the rest of your life. All of you. Like, God forbid you ever see a trans girl eating a whatchamacallit, your head will explode on impact. Like, holy shit. Cannibalism. Pretty soon they'll cancel the Klondike for obvious reasons. Can't have anything nice anymore. Like, where does it end? I heard they want to redo the Snicker bar. Did you guys hear that shit? Do you want to remove the Snicker bar dick vein that it has on it? You know what I'm talking about? You know when you open up a Snicker bar, it's got that big throbbing giant. It looks like you're watching BBC porn. It's a very vascular candy bar, if you've never noticed. That's what they call it, Big Snick Energy. Is that what that shit is? There's a reason why Snickers satisfies. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been amazing tonight. Thank you guys for coming out.